As an outspoken atheist, I am subjected to an inordinate amount of nonsensical loaded questions with fallacious premises. My beliefs regarding God are constantly the focus of very strange and unfounded assumptions, often the result of simple ignorance, but also quite frequently the result of malicious distortions made utterly knowingly by those in positions of authority purportedly derived from the divine. To address all such loaded questions and bizarre assumptions in a single video would be a task too great for any one atheist, even with my old school director's account, which enables me to post videos exceeding 10 minutes in length. However, there are two recurring bits of abominable miscomprehension that are in dire need of addressing. The first is the misnomer of non-believer that we atheists all too often hear and all too often accept. I dare say that many of us wear it as something of a badge of honor, but the term contains within it a tacit admission of a theocentric world. Atheists, like all other people, believe and disbelieve in a great number of things. I personally believe in the concepts of freedom and truth and beauty and all that jazz. I also believe in concretions like the blueness of the sky or the texture of a stucco ceiling. I disbelieve in concepts like fascism and religion and two wrongs make a right. I disbelieve in purported concretions like Santa Claus and goblins. I disbelieve in God both as a concept and as a purported concretion. So, I am both a believer and a non-believer. It merely depends on the context, the subject, the narrative. If the subject is Santa Claus as a concept, then I am a believer. If the subject is Santa Claus as a purported concretion, then I am a non-believer. To accept the label of non-believer without any contextual clues or any predefined subject as non-belief in God by default is to give the concept undue credence. By admitting the God question so important that belief or non-belief in him trumps all other beliefs or non-beliefs is to give him undue importance. For believer to be the center of a Christian's identity is perfectly sensible and sensical. But for non-believer to be the center of an atheist's identity is ridiculous outside of the context of debating theists. We are atheists. Atheist is a word which means that we lack a belief in deities, and that's all it should or shall ever mean. Whether or not we are non-believers should always depend on the context of the word, and if the word is without context, we should not acknowledge it as meaning anything. The next time you're called a non-believer, your response should be, a non-believer in what? The second of the inglorious sophistries that I've made this video in hopes of correcting is the silly notion that atheists have rejected God. Now, of course we've rejected God as a concept or an idea, just as many of us with good sense reject communism and dictatorships. We have not, however, rejected God in the sense that one rejects a parent who was never there or a friend who betrayed us. We don't believe in God, and to reject Him in that sense, uh, belief in Him is an absolute prerequisite. Certain theists believe, even after being corrected on this point, that we are deceiving ourselves, that we genuinely do believe in God, but reject Him because we want to be able uh, to be free from His will. In other words, we disbelieve in Him so that we can disobey Him. This argument holds no water for one simple reason. No idea, regardless of how vile or wicked it might be, has suffered from the idea of being divinely willed. Hitler claimed to be the chosen of God. Albert Fish, who cannibalized children, was a devout Christian who believed that angels would have intervened to save his victims if God had thought his crimes wrong. If we really wanted to do evil, God would not stand in our way. We could make him condone it, just as Christian scientists make him condone not treating disease, and the Opus Dei sect of Catholicism makes him condone self-mutilation. God's will is largely controlled for all practical purposes by the will of his believers, and if atheists really wanted to do whatever they wanted, they'd not bother with atheism. They would just say that God approved of whatever behaviors they indulged in. The simple fact is that we don't believe in God, and we don't believe in God because there is no pressing reason to believe in God. It's really quite simple and requires little in the way of further explanation. 